Oh my goodness. Gone, but not forgotten. No, I mean, <laughs> I, someone asked me the other day, like, was he actually as mean as, as, as they made it, him out to seem? And like, on the record, Brooklyn and Stacey were just as mean as he was. Right. Like, they all made us feel like shit. <laughs> um, Jeffrey, like, I don't want to blame it on the edit, mm-hmm. but they did put a little, a, a few extra sound effects. <laughs> yes, they did. You know, they did put a little, you know, a couple of things, but he was fucking catty and it was so fun. Like, it was just one of those things where, like, on set, we would laugh about it because, like, that's what made the show fun. Yeah. So when the fans were like, how dare he? And, like, we hate him. And, like, they were so meet me. It was so, so intense. It was, it was. Wow. It was also, everyone was so hyper-focused on it because of, um, yeah. what's it called? The pandemic. pandemic. What's it called? We were all sitting at home living every moment living. on Canada's Drag Race. Yeah. And Jimbo fans are like also wild too. And Very. Even like Jimbo, you know, the, the, the fashion is different. Jimbo stuff now is amazing. But at the time it was like pretty rotted. It was. <laughs> Mine too. I mean, I wore a paper for dress and got to the finale. I don't know how that happened. But um, he is great. That was definitely like do you, that was harsh. The audience was harsh to him. I mean, like, yeah. like has anyone watched Old Drug Race? The judges uh, aren't all peaches and cream every time, or any reality show. I know it's really interesting that like I think part of it was that the fans need someone to bully. Yes, he was a target, mm-hmm. um, and I also think that like in a time of everyone feeling very negative about their life and what what could be with the pandemic, I think everyone was like personally attacked by the comments made by the judges during our season.